I was recently reading in this news article where it was talking about how Joe Biden's administration are going after people who committed fraud and wrongfully received a COVID relief uh, money that was not meant for them. They did not qualify for this money, but they portrayed themselves as someone who qualified for this. And um, millions and billions of dollars and COVID relief funds had gone to the wrong people. And as a result, those who truly did qualify to receive this, these, the, this money and this aid were not able to, to receive it. They were inhibited from receiving it because there was not enough funds to allocate. And as, as these people who fraudulently received of this money, they, they took all of the money where it was not enough left for those who truly qualified. And so as a result, those people had to suffer. And so the administration now is trying to go after those people and recover and recoup that, that money and apprehend those who have wrongfully taken of that money through fraud so that they can now disperse of the money to the rightful people who truly were impacted and truly qualified and were eligible to receive that money. And so as I want to say, this is the same thing, how it works in God's kingdom. God said in his word, he has specific laws of people to receive of his blessings. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things should be added unto you. And just as God allocates his blessings out here to his people who have sought him and who are, or who are ready to fulfill his purpose and his work, they have come to him and they're deserving of this money because they have sought him first and they have followed the, the prerequisite for receiving of the blessings that belong to his people. But there have been people who are fraudulently hijacked and diverted these blessings and have taken of them themselves. They've used shortcuts and they found ways to, to scam and take things that did not belong to them and take things that were meant for God's people. The same way people have fraudulently taken of COVID relief funds that they did not qualify for and they knew that they were not eligible for these benefits, yet they took them anyway. Well, there are people out here who are using sorcery. You're using witchcraft. You're using demonic spirits. You're using soul ties. You're, you're, you're doing all kinds of things. You're using manifestations. You're using... Uh, all types of satanic power. You're hijacking people's destinies. You're stealing things spiritually to divert the blessings that are meant for God's people. And as a result, God's people are sitting here suffering. You have come up with clever ways to obtain things that were not meant for you. You're retaining houses. You're retaining businesses. You're retaining jobs. You're obtaining money. You're obtaining wealth. You're obtaining positions of authority and power that were not meant for you, but you have used fraudulent behavior and activities to take things from God's kingdom that was meant for his people to bless them. As he said, seek ye first his kingdom. A lot of you have not sought God's kingdom. You're not seeking him. You're not serving him. You're not doing his work. You're not walking his righteousness or his obedience. You do not, have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. A lot of you have worship idols. You're worshiping Satan or you're following uh, the course of, of the kingdom of darkness. A lot of you are in uh, the occult and you have wrongfully taking things that were not meant for you. And just as now Joe Biden and his administration, just as the government goes after those who have wrongfully taken things and fraud, committed fraud to receive of things that were not meant for them, God is going to be going after people who have wrongfully taken things from his people, who have touched the inheritance of his people, touched blessings, taken things that were not meant for them. They knew it was not meant for them, but they have used different tactics and clever ways to, to try and deceive and see, as you know, when you do things the wrongful way, when you, you do things wrongfully, it will always catch up to you. You cannot get away. You might be able to hide for a while. You might get away with doing evil and deceitful uh, tactics, but eventually it always catches up to you. So it's best just to go about it the legitimate way in the first place and follow the proper protocol when receiving these things. There are guidelines in the book of the, in the, this book. This Bible is right here for a reason. It tells you how to receive everything, how to receive of all the goodness. It tells you anybody can receive of these things if you just follow the law. But a lot of you do not want to follow the right principles. You don't want to take the proper steps. You want to take shortcuts. And every time you'll get caught, the same thing happened with people. I've, I've saw in the news where there are a lot of people who had recently gotten arrested for obtaining their nursing licenses wrongfully. They committed fraud and they paid money, about $1,500 to receive a nursing license because they didn't want to take a shortcut and didn't want to go to school and, and go through all the hard work. Now, now, is that fair for those who actually went to school? Is that fair for those who actually put in the work, who actually qualify for these things because you get to take a shortcut? No, it's not fair. And just as, as the government and the law is, is cracking down all these things, God is doing the same with all the imposters and, the, and the, those who committed fraud to, to obtain things that were not belonging to him. This is something that belongs to God's kingdom. You're stealing from him now. You're stealing from God. You're stealing from, from Jesus Christ because this stuff was meant for his people to receive up and for him to, 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 to disperse it to them so they can do what they're supposed to do. And many people have gotten in the way. They have blocked these blessings. They have stolen and hijacked things from, from God's people. And God is about to, to, to come crack down on that. 